Hello YouTubers. Let's build this one. It is very simple as long as you have done something with Raspberry Pi. For example, basic LED blinking program, the LED on and off. If you have done something like that, it should be sufficient. It's very simple to do this. Let's do it. Do it. The wiring diagram, the Raspberry Pi connected to LoRa module, the coming from right to left, the first pin ground connected to ground, second pin VCC connected to 3.3 volt, this side, this pin, AUX is not connected, next one TXT connected to GPIO 15, next one RXD connected to GPIO 14, next two pin M1 and M0 both connected to ground. For the first LED, one side connected to ground here, other side connected through 220 ohm resistor to GPIO 16. For the next LED, one side is connected to ground like this, other side connected through 220 ohm resistor to GPIO 12. For the first button, one side is connected to ground, other side connected to GPIO 7. The next button, one side is connected to ground, the other side yellow one wire connected to GPIO 8. For the receiver module, the LoRa and Raspberry Pi, the connection are same. Instead of the LED and the button, we have a relay module here. The wiring connection is VCC connected to 5 volt pin, this side pin. Next two pin, in 1 and in 2, is connected to GPIO 16 and 12. The ground is connected to ground. When you connect this wire, double check and check it one more time or two, two more time, make sure it's correct. One mistake can damage the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. So make sure you done correctly. After that, you can connect to, uh, with this one you can connect to um, keyboard and mouse and uh, monitor and things like that. And you can open the terminal or, or you can remotely connect through wireless and connect to the terminal and uh, go back to uh, the first one we connect this one to the um, switch it on and connect to the terminal i am using uh, putty terminal let's open that one or you can do with the other one like with the windows as long as you open the terminal and we need to do some setup for that in the description i have given uh, a website link this website link and you go there there's some instruction how to do it you can read through this one the wiring diagram is here and here and here there is a sudo apt get installed python serial you need to install this one for that you need internet connected to the raspberry pi copy it and uh, go to the terminal and paste that one or you can type it and enter and it will install the uh, python serial after that type sudo raspi config and you get this one and go to the interface option this one enter go select the serial port enter and click no for this one and uh, for the next one hardware enabled click yes and click ok now you need to click finish you can use the tab button and click finish now you need to open the editor and do the coding for that i do sudo nano um, you can give any name i give tr dot pi 
and the code is here when you go below transmitter code starts here select from here until transmitter code ends here copy all of them and uh, paste it you can read through it's very simple code you will understand and click ctrl o save ctrl x and then you type sudo python tr.py now it started and now we come to the next module we come back to the this module and switch it on and uh, connect to the monitor and keyboard something like that or connect to the um, party terminal whatever you you, you want to do and uh, i connected to the other one here and you do the same thing we have done before when you go below uh, the same thing we done to the other module the serial we need to install or so copy it and paste it install so we need to install the same thing to the other module as well it will take some time after that sudo ras pi dash config The same thing we done for the, that one. We have to do it. Interface option, serial port, no, and then yes, and OK, and use the tab to finish. Now we open the uh, editor sudo nano rc dot pi, and the code is here. When you go below, here is the Raspi config everything. We already done this one. Receiver code starts here. From here until receiver code ends here. Copy it and uh, go to the terminal and paste it. It's also very simple code. You can read through if you want. And then Control O, save, yes, Control X, exit. Now sudo pi then rc dot pi, enter. Now it's running. Now let's go and see in the camera how it works. I have uploaded both code this one i used a wireless for this one both of them to upload the code to run and uh, now let's switch on now it's this one on it transmit acknowledgement this one also on now switch on transmit and this relay on it send back the message and this led on like this on and off now we know we don't need the um, wi-fi so i can remove the wi-fi I can remove this Wi-Fi as well. I removed this one and that one. Now still, it can. Now it can work. Nice. When we come back to the website, I have given the link for the module where I uh, purchase the LoRa module. When you go below for the wiring diagram, I have shown uh, Pi 0 for the connection, but really I use the uh, Pi 2B. The 40 pin headers are same for this 40 pin and uh, this 40 pin is same connection. You can use Pi 0, Pi 2, Pi 3, Pi 4 as whatever you want to use everything the same now when you go below there is a auto launch python script on startup 
when you read it because when we when the raspberry pi stops and start and power off and power on the python script won't auto start here in this link go here go to this link and read through there is a launcher script and you can include into the raspberry pi so when you switch it off and switch it on the python will auto load thanks for watching please like subscribe and share thank you